So we are currently en route to the South Coast Mine, and um, this is going to be interesting. Last time we met up with Log Gok, he had us bring our Ravenclaw friend a meat who could read gobbledygook, and uh, we went through the mine, found the schematics for all the drills that Ranrock is using to be able to unearth the uh, repositories of ancient magic, and uh, Log Gok sent us an owl. I found one of Ranrock's drills at a mine along the shore, and I intend to destroy it. I'm tired of trying to reason with him. You're welcome to join me, but if I don't see you there, I will reach out when I return. I have something for you. So I, I don't know. First of all, that sounds like a suicide mission. I, I'm trying to double cross Ranrock. This doesn't seem very intelligent, I, especially with no backup or anything like that. Hopefully he's just fed up and he wants to take matters into his own hands. Hopefully he's okay. I also kind of feel like this could potentially be a trap. I don't know. Look at the size of this mine. Lord Gork, oh, we've got where a, are you? A cart system in here. Something seems wrong. Okay. This place is teeming with Ranrock's loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me. Well, we're just gonna have to take them down. Try to at least get one of them. Or we can finish off the other one, no problem. Hopefully nobody heard their screams. Okay. So we got a doorway here. I don't know how we're going to be able to get through that. Ah. This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. We're going to go around it. Gods, but I'm in the driver's seat this time. Perfect. Hopefully nobody can seems wrong. How deep will this take? Ranrock's gonna be pleased with our progress. <laughs> Just Who cruising around. Go. That has to be the end up ahead. Don't mind the person that doesn't belong in the minecart. Alright. Lots of notes and things here. Okay. Revelio. Just going deep into a mine where we absolutely do not belong with no idea where our friend is and if he's even our friend. Can set this on fire. You. Pull that to be able to open the door. Rebellion. Accio. Be able to pull this as well. Beautiful. Place is massive, dude. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of enemies here. Okay. Being stranded in a goblin mine is about the worst, worst place that we can be. I think. Oh, we can pull that down so we can get up. Oh my goodness, look at all the guys. We're gonna have to be very careful. Tons of guys underneath us too. Not those two. It looks like we wanna go down. Oh my gosh. This is just never ending. Get free go. Gonna turn on anything we can. Oh. Got an elevator now. These guys are coming to check out the chaos that's ensued. That actually works out pretty well for us. The thing is, if if we start fighting here, there's so many guys in a tiny space all stacked on top of each other. Just send him quickly. Hit him and run. Hit him and run. They're going to start moving. All right. Let's pull this down. Perfect. Enchanted pickaxes. Mana for diamonds. Level three lock. Are you kidding me? There's got to be something amazing in there. Okay. 
I keep saying we gotta go do the moons. I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm probably gonna do that off screen, to be honest. Some of the collection things just take way too long. I don't think that'd be very fun. Head up this way, see if they've Rebellion. got anything for us. Got something cooking on the cauldron. Tell you what, they are not very well organized. There's always just a million random routes to everything. You think we can... There we go. We got behind a door? What's in here? Revelio. Few chests? Don't mind if I do. This place is chaotic. Back up top. Let's get back to our main objective. If Flogok is our friend, he's probably in trouble in here. There's no way. He's not going to be able to come in here and double cross all these guys. Mind the ghostly elevator just working by itself. Got a bunch of guys in front of us here. There's always something more. Ragnarok is here. Look at all the God doesn't cross paths with him. Dude, we're gonna have to open this up. There's no way. Might be able to get this guy and maybe one more. But this is not going to be good. I'm going to make sure. Uh, I want to get the transfigure spell on. The traffic is no Dallas. It's so good. Yeah, there's, there's, there's just simply no way. We're just going to have to go for it. There we go. Purple shield, guys been a problem to us. He's a level 28. Okay, wow. I have felt like recently we've been uh, kind of uh, I don't know. Not as overly leveled as we have been in the past. And I'm gonna hit you with your own friend. You've one less follower, Ranrock. Well, I think that was half a dozen less followers. Revelio. Actually, happy to use some Wigan Weld potions lately. It's starting to get a little bit more difficult. I like it though. There'll be so much loot down here, dude. Yeah, we're only level 26. We're facing enemies level 28. I don't know, man. We've done all the side missions, so. Incendio should be enough to light these flames. Got him going. And our chariot awaits. I hope I can get to Ranrock before Logcock does. I still just don't know if we can trust him. I don't know. I hope I'm wrong. Really hope I'm wrong. Rebellion. Another drill is complete. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's loyalists. Oh my goodness, they've got a troll in goblin metal. I think this I think this calls for it. It's just too much fun. Look at this. I'm not even gonna engage them. I'm just gonna <laughs> Go do my bidding, you big beasts. I'll cut you from shoes to shoes. Doing 900 damage with one swing of the club. 1400 damage. Now he's done. But hold on. 
just casting Imperio from the shadows and then we get to watch him do more work. Just tear the whole building down. Let's go. And now the problem is, is we're actually going to have to fight the trolls. So that's where I'm going to put all of our uh, good spells on here. And we're just going to go to town. Let's go. Level 28 armor troll. Probably hit him with a couple of these because we're going to be able to get him back. We should have a really nice set of combos here. Woo! Let's make sure we're picking up the, the blue stuff on the ground. Not today. Block it. Hit him with it. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Get a couple more pieces of ancient magic here with... Oh, all right. Or just get punched in the mouth. That works too. I want to pick this up. I always like having them in my back pocket just in case. They completely change the tide of a battle. But look at that. I only had to fight one enemy. Not like 50 of them. Okay. It did drop some loot over here. Let me just get a come in, collect the loot. Thank you to our pet troll for taking care of business. Revelio. Collapse all the pillars to destroy the drill. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Defender. Confringo. I have to find a way to stop that drill. And she's down. is unfortunate. No matter, we will build another. I found this one lurking outside. Oh no. Lord Gok, come to make amends, little brother. Brother? I came to stop this. What is this you've brought me? Logok? It cannot be. All this time. You knew. You knew where it was. Are you alright? I will never understand you, Logok. So. Gollum, that witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository, searching in vain for Bragbor's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind. Oh! I don't know why you would bring it where we knew Rainrock was, though. I mean, I appreciate that he was trying to do the right thing, but... brother's hand no wonder he tried so hard to reason with him it just seems silly that he would bring the information that we're all fighting for right now to the mouth of, of the enemy place his final action of his life was actually completely 
screwing us over. All right. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. This is just not looking good. He's got the information that he's been searching for. I guess the only positive would be that looks like he and Rookwood's partnership has come to an end, but we're one step behind. In the end, he was a good man. He's fighting a good fight, trying to unite wizard kind and goblin kind. And he will be missed. I feel bad for doubting him. Although, to be honest, he did put us in a bit of a shifty situation. So while we wait to hear back from Professor Fig, made it. we're meeting back up with Poppy. This has been a long journey in progress. But you guys remember we met up with the uh, Centaurs Forbidden Forest a couple episodes ago. I think we have the location. I take it this means you had some luck at the library. For the it took a few hours and some eye-watering maps. But I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive, especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. <laughs> seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. So we're just shooting blanks here. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. Man. I would think that people... I go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. I would think that people avoid it for good reason. But I guess that's never stopped us before. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Revelio. We can go down this way, or it looks like we can Bombard us. blast this open. Never know what you're it's gonna find! A 29 Doug Bog, okay. Help me out here, girl. Come on, please. Woo! Appreciate it. Thank you for the help. With this. What is going on with them? That one looks especially evil. She's throwing out plants and stuff. She is so sweet. Ooh. Open those up. We also I saw this over here. Bombarda. Revelio. Wonder if that's something, I'm not sure. We can bring a moth to this. I'm not gonna use any um, unforgivable spells in front of her. I don't. I don't want sweet little Poppy to know that that's what I'm about. Bombarda. Just using everything we learned in our textbooks. Technically, Bombarda was like a side thing. We got another Rebellion. dog in here. Foopers. This is a very. Foopers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the you rumor about the cave bro. started. The Fwoopers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Oh, I didn't know that. Akio. I I know that there's going to be spiders behind those like 90% of the time and it scares me. And so are Fwoopers. I wonder if it's being protected. Interesting. I'm seeing lots of moth things. Oh, this is okay. So we need to do the things in order. You want to do this one next, I think? Should open this up. Why am I not surprised? First the creepers and now this. Okay, now we can do Treyarch. Akio. With the circle. Open this. There's a moth. Alright, so we're going to need uh Got old Lumos on here. Lumos. Lumos. We need to find moths for those spinners. I'm working on it, girl. I'm gonna get this one over, so we're gonna do Treyarch and then the Action. snowman looking thing. Got a chest. Circle. 
snow. Lumos. Lumos. Drop it. All right. So now we uh, want to pulso these, probably at the same time. Pulso. Another obstacle. No matter. Revelio. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Yeah, this shouldn't be hard. I'm gonna put Lumos back on. Lumos. Lumos. And then we should be able to depulso that again. Depulso. Oh, there's. A I think there's a second one over there. Okay. Lumos. Lots of Lumos. Lots of depulso. That's going to give us another mod. Oh, we want to hit this one first to get across, and then we'll hit that one to be able to grab it. Lumos. It's beautiful. And then we need all three. Interesting. I don't want to open this up. Nothing in it. Watch for spiders, Trev. Every time they pop out, it scares me a little bit, didn't he? Okay, so we should be able to grab this. He's with us. I don't know how we're going to get this last one. Oh, it slowly falls. We're good. Okay. Beautiful. You did it. And we've got a couple more dog bogs. Well, let me make sure that we get everything that we can on, and we're just gonna go to work. Don't mind me, sweet innocent Poppy. I definitely don't have Imperio that I could use to get these guys on our side. Just throwing the whole kitchen sink at him. You're picking up your magic here, Trev. There it is. I love that she uses the plants. That's something, honestly, we haven't... I just don't Rebellion. ever think to use it. I kind of really like using my Bombarda. magic. I feel like that's kind of the most exciting part, so I don't know. I do wish that plants and, and potions had a bit more... I think if I was playing on a harder difficulty, yeah, we're gonna go down in there. Take a closer look. I'm gonna grab this first thing. my mind. But um, if we would have chose hard, which I maybe we can, can you change the difficulty in this game? I'm not gonna worry about it right now. It's it has been getting somewhat harder at times towards the end here. But um, yeah, just I feel like the Edoras potion for extra defense and stuff is never really needed. We take some damage, but. I don't know. Maybe, maybe for a different day. We'll do some challenges or something. Merlin. Revelio. Beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. I mean, this is pretty cool. That's where we just came from. Confringo. Given what floopers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here, assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. Well, that's good news. We found it! The Moonstone. It's like staring directly at the moon. Scholar's Moonstone. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the Henge. We take it back to Forbidden Forest. It's going to be able to well collect done, the snitches. Bobby. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. All right, I'm in. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall.
Oh, we can f I, I have no idea what a snidget looks like. It's apparently a small bird, That's right? The henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the henge. I'm sure there's going to be something to try us. Whatever it is, it had better have to do with snidgets. The clock is ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. All right, Poppy. I think that's it over there. We have saved many a, uh... How's your gran doing, by the way? Animal together. Nothing keeps it's the best one yet. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next <sighs> poacher that set foot on her doorstep. <laughs> I still feel terrible for the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. There we go. Well, I've appreciated your camaraderie up until this point, and I hope this goes well for us. You are one of the kindest souls at Hogwarts, that's for sure. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. The moon cabs, of course. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> they're drawing something? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> this is so wholesome. That was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran that I've managed to see not one but two moon calf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead more money i suppose what i'd finally had enough i freed high wing and we ran we'd flown for ages when i spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed to watch them it felt like an omen a good one a sign that the worst was over i think there's what darker do times to come had enough and the worst was over you see the night i freed high wing was also the night i ran away from home oh a poach camp I come from a family of poachers. What? Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live That's with her. That's why she's so Suffice close to the Suffice it to grandma. say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. That's cool. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. <laughs> what was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around. Always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. Sounds like it. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo trying to make their fortunes We there, came across that note. Mantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But 
Sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We got that note when we were returning the dragon egg that Borneo was the spot and Acromantulas were the most profitable new thing. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. Dangerous. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. That's cool, though. I'm glad that she's... If you collect the moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Okay. I'm glad that she's able to escape her upbringing. Are you finished upbringing. with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. So we're going to have to wait for Papa to track down our centaur friend again. Hopefully, going to be able to save those golden snidgets soon. A lot of work has gone into this. Honestly, I'm just really excited to see him. Haven't seen one of those before. Maybe it'll be like a mini game or something. Chasing him, catching him. I don't know. But um, we are going to be meeting up with Natsai in this spot. She sent us a uh, an owl. Would you please meet with me in the Great Hall? I have come upon a difficult time and I need a friend. I love her. I, both of these girls are just Nassie. pure people. Is everything all right? Pure <gasps> friends. There are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind and I feel peace for a day or two, but this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Mati Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. It's not your fault. It's not your fault, Natty. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. That is what my mother says. But he died protecting me. And I cannot help but feel guilty over that. I find myself relieving the moment more often than I would like. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. They did to Archie what them. happened to her. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them, beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. Just pure souls. Just genuinely good people. It's nice to have that. In a world filled with so much evil, we've got Ranrock killing his brother, Rookwood on the loose, terrorizing citizens across the lands. Just all the, the dark, evil things happening in this world. And you've got people like Poppy and Natty that are making a difference. They're a reminder that you can choose to be good. And you could also choose to be incredibly bad. So we also were hit up by Sebastian. We are going to be going down to the depths. We've got uh, an episode you don't want to miss in the next one. We'll see you guys there.